Hello and welcome back to Heroes Chronicles, Masters of the Elements. And apparently Wine is still being stupid. And by that I mean that it cannot recognize the CD. Which is annoying me. I mean it's mounted on elements and it did recognize it the last time we played it. And now it just doesn't. I have no idea why. And it's annoying, very much. But well, at least there's a pretty easy workaround to that. You can just copy everything from the data folder on <clears throat> your disk into your hard drive. And it does recognize it. And also a good thing about Heroes Chronicles is that they have um, several folders with data um, in both the Heroes Chronicles directory and the Heroes Chronicles Masters of the Elements directory. And also their file names are unique, instead of being like in Heroes of My Magic 3, everything is called either H3 Bitmap or H3 Sprite, and that causes lots of mismatches and such. Uh, but yeah, anyway, let's start a new campaign. Also, yes, this is Masters of the Elements, not Master, because Tarnum is not the Master. They're talking about the four elemental lords. Okay, so... Also, I'm recording this the second time, heck. Well, until I had to record the cutscene that didn't work, the. So anyway, Masters of the Elements, campaign description. Tarnum must face down his own prejudice against magic and become a wizard, if he has any chance of saving the world from the destructive elemental lords. So that's an interesting continuity, actually, with Heroes Chronicles 2. Because there he had to, fra uh, to face his prejudice against Ryan Griffinhardt, who killed him. So yeah. Now he's going to go with Brackadoon, I guess. And I wonder what will be in the next Chronicles game. Well, anyway. The Trouble with Magic scenario description. Tarnum must defeat the Conflicts Town to gain the knowledge he needs to confront the Elemental Lords. If Tarnum loses any battle, his cause is lost. Tarnum will be limited to level 8, but he and two of his best captains will carry over to the next scenario. I'm going to go on hard difficulty, and 10 obsidian gargoyles or 1 spell power. I'm of course going to go with spell power, because it will carry over to other scenarios. So it's always a good thing to pick skills instead of creatures. So anyway, let's begin. The ancestors swept Tarnum away to a distant tower, where sorcery was part of everyday life. He now wore the robes of a wizard and was expected to lead these creatures of magic against the Elemental Lords. Hmm. That's interesting. Um, pretty straightforward, I guess. Uh, these notes should give us some more insight into that. I was fishing on a still lake when the ancestors appeared before me, their ghostly forms hovering just above the water. Tarnum, they said in unison, this is the most important task we have ever set before you. As they magically transported me to a distant tower, they explained that when the world was created, the gods forced the elemental lords into a ten thousand year truce. Ten thousand years have passed, and the violent, selfish elemental lords plan to separate all the elements, thus destroying the entire world. Um, wait. Oh, not... <laughs> the gods? No, that's not the gods, that's the ancients, you silly people, you. That's one thing we know for sure. Uh, actually... Actually, that's also not something we know. Uh, the ancients did create uh, Varns and Zine by using elemental manipulation. 
But then again, they did not create planets like Enroth. Um, so that's interesting. I don't know what to think. But, yeah, I know that the ancients did force... Well, not actually now. In my Magic 2, we know that the Elemental Lords did fight each other until the Earth Elemental Lord won, and after that, King Kalon uh, went and, well, basically defeated them all and locked them up and something. Um, so that was basically something that humans themselves achieved. And when I think about it, I'm not sure what happened on Terra. But the ancients did see the Terra. And, uh, well, I'm not sure what to think about that. Uh, but chances are those gods there are another form of uh, advanced civilization or the ancients themselves. So anyway, yeah, let's continue reading. No wonder the ancestors seem so urgent. The elemental lords were coming to our world to destroy it. But what if I didn't wait for them? What if I took the battle to them? To the elemental plains where they reside. They certainly wouldn't expect such an assault. Unfortunately, the only way to reach the elemental plains is through a conflict town, and only one remains in the entire world. What? Only what? Uh, wh how? Why? When? Uh, why would there be only one conflict town in the world? That doesn't make any sense. This is supposed to be a prequel to Armageddon's Blade. And Armageddon's Blade has plenty of conflict towns. This does not make any sense. <sighs> why would there be only one in the entire world? And why remains? We have never seen a conflict town in the game so far. This makes so little sense. Sheesh. Well, maybe we'll make some sense out of it later, I don't know. Anyway, this is Starnum. And the thing I really, really love about this game is Starnum has speciality and enchanters. Can upgrade monks or zealots and magi or archmagi to enchanters. And as I explained in the tutorial, enchanters are awesome. They are the best things ever. They are the best. Period. And even though that kind of lowers our morale, because they're neutral, well, who cares about morale? We have spells. Ah. And okay, let's see what we can do. City Hall is not available. Okay. Uh, there's Golem Factory, there's Parapet. I don't really care much about Goblin. Uh, golems? Jeez. Um, marketplace, Blacksmith and Tavern. Tavern might be a good thing to have. A citadel? Not really. Marketplace? No. Um, okay, first of all, let's see. Rissa. Oh, that's one Mercury. That's going to be useful, I guess. Actually, um, I forgot, what do we need? Yeah, gems. Thought so. So Rista is not going to be as useful as she could be, but still. Okay. Or Master of the Gremlins, money, money, gems, wood. Oh, we get to have major. That's pretty nice. And I upgrade them to enchanters. Tim the Enchanter. Yes. 
And we need a workshop as soon as we can. Yes, excellent. There is absolutely no reason to upgrade Mage, like at all, because we can upgrade them to Enchanters. And hmm, what do we need more? Wood or 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 or? Well, wood will open a way for us, so let's go for that. The Elemental Lord of Air enslaved this group of gremlins long ago. They cheer as you walk among them, cutting the ball and chains attaching to their ankles. Good. As one, the gremlins throw down their saws and pick up their former... S what? As, as, as exciting as working at the sawmill was, one of them says, I think we'd rather be fighting the Elemental Lords. Would you mind if we came along too? <laughs> but this doesn't make much sense either. I mean... Um... How would they use a saw to cut those chains? I mean, those links of chains are really strong. At least they look like that. We'll take those gremlins. Thank you. I'm also not going to waste my time and uh, go here. You sit down among the gremlin miners and tell them of your fight against the elemental lords and of your need for troops. The leader nods and says, The evil elemental lords have no place in this world anymore. And if they really intend on destroying it just to spite everyone, well, we're not going to let them. Will you accept our help? Yes, I will. Also, it, there was no explanation why the Elemental Lords would even want to destroy the world. I mean, yes, they are warring and all, but... I guess the truce is over and something, but why would it be over? That doesn't make much sense either. <sighs> well, anyway, we need this jump. So we're going to attack them, and I'm pretty sure we can handle them. The King of Brokata, Gavin Magnus, has given me the use of his troops to battle the Elemental Lords. How the ancestors arranged this, I do not know. Hmm. So Brokata is already here, and Gavin Magnus is here. Given that. Yeah, Magnus. He's another immortal hero. So, yeah, now we have two immortal heroes in a single country. That's pretty awesome. As helpful as King Magnus seems, he also sent along a representative named Barsolar to make sure someone protects the interests of the kingdom. From the first moment we met, Barsolar has been trying to tell me what to do. He's more annoying than any person I have met, and a wizard as well. Two reasons for me to hate him. Personally, I think the twit needs to be pushed off the nearest cliff. Unfortunately, I would only end up with more problems if the third cousins of if the third cousin of the king disappeared. <laughs> well, that's pretty fun. Oh hey. That's pretty nice. Oh, God. You come across something half buried in the snow. It's a large pen pulsating with magic. At first, you're repulsed, but then you decide it might be worth something, magic or not. As you bend to pick it up, the snow moves and an ice elemental rises from the ground. Soon, you realize the entire ground in this area conceals nothing but a pack of these creatures. Do you wish to fight ice elementals and take the pendant? No. It doesn't say that it's a pack. Uh, it does say that when you um, go into how are they called? Uh, well, Naga Banks and other places. But apparently not artifacts, which is kind of sad. But hey. Also, we need to build things here. 
I'm going to get a parapet first. Okay, Tarnum, you can now attack. A chill wind cuts through your clothing. Then you see the air itself take shape. Air elementals! Not only are they prepared to attack, but the icy wind kicked up by their presence is starting to give you frostbite. One of them approaches and shouts, By the Air Lord's command, you shall not possess this gem pond! And they attack. Well, funny. Oh, come on! I don't have a spellbook. That's just silly. Why would you not have a spellbook? Everyone from the sound has a spellbook when they start. an interesting spell to cast. Um, yeah, I will wait. And I will shoot actually. Pretty sure they're going to go this way. Yeah. Aha! Uh -huh. And... Uh, Haha! Ha ha ha! Excellent. Actually, I wonder if uh, enchanters can cast. Uh, how is it called? Precision, I guess. Um, that helps you fire. Uh, but I don't know. Anyway, I need this chest. An insane archmage runs out of the tree line screaming, It's mine! Mine! You can't have my treasure! You have no idea what he's talking about, nor do you think you'll be able to avoid a fight. Hi there! He cast stone skin because there's nothing else to cast. Tyron has found the I have crystal out of nowhere, okay. Sitting at the table in my tent, I shake my head and chuckle as an assistant tries to explain the elemental planes to me. Please listen, sir, the mage says. We have evidence to support this information. First hand accounts of these alternate planes. But an entire world made only of fire. That's not possible, I say. Sir, in the elemental planes, the rules of our world do not apply. In the elemental planes, you can walk on clouds and entire landscapes can be made only of fire. That's why no one has dared take an army into these lands. Well, possible or not, I will be the first, I see boldly. I may have to use magic, but I can still fight like a true barbarian. There is no reason to sit around and wait for these elemental lords to come to me. I'll take the battle to them and end it before they get a chance to harm this world. Um, no, I don't think it works like that, Tarnum. Because if you destroy elemental lords, which is hardly possible, you'll also destroy the world. And in fact, I'm pretty sure you will destroy the entire universe! Because... The same elemental lords have created all of the Varns and apparently had something to do with all the planets as well. So that's a bad idea. Yeah. Well, I'm sure they will figure that out eventually, but hey. leadership or expert wisdom. I'm going to go for a magic approach. Uh, and he's also a wizard himself, so it makes sense. Oh, what? There is no magic guild? 
That's ludicrous, look at this. There's the mage tower and there's no mage guild and you can see that there are things cut off here. This is supposed to be connected to the mage guild, but this is just not there. And these spikes slash uh, bushes are also connected to a part of this, which also ends nowhere. So it looks really strange, but okay. <laughs> I could have done a little bit better because see when you hover your mouse you can see the outlines of this so they could quite easily make it so that only what is inside the outline appears and not everything around them in a box shape so yeah anyway um, I need a golem factory no, and I cannot build the mage skill well, that is pretty sad, but hey, what can you do? We have enchanters anyway. And Rissa has a spellbook. What the heck? Well, not that he, uh, that she has lots of spells anyway. Oh, more gremlins. Also, this is Tereth. Like Minas Tereth. Which was actually first used in the Silmarillion for a fortress in the uh, river. Yeah. Something like Osgiliath was later on. Uh, not Minas Tirith, actually. So, anyway, um. Yeah, Citadel. Because I need more enchanters. And I need golems and the stone gargoyles. And enchanters will be here. My gremlins will be down there. And I want to take this. And this will be a more interesting fight. Now, enchanters, please give me haste. I would be very grateful if you did. Eh. They usually do something uh, smart, but not always. It's probably a 50% chance of doing something smart versus a 50% chance of getting something random. Ow. Ah, you failed. You didn't. Neither did you. This. Unfortunately, these four elementals might shoot, but... Huh, that's interesting. They have 14 damage, so that means Bless does not affect them, neither does Curse. That's good to know. Right, none of the enemies are going to shoot this turn, and they're going to attack the stone level for whatever reason. Well, that's fine with me because uh, they kind of cannot do any damage right now. And I can. So I just lose a few gremlins. Nothing too bad. Too bad. And uh, uh, penalty of second sight. This makes us immune to blind. Also, a hero with specialty of enchanters will be seen in Heroes of Mind Magic 3. I believe it's Dracon, however you pronounce it. Well, dragon. <laughs> Oh, hey, look at that. Gold mine. I will take that. I have been told that if I plan to fight the elemental lords, I must use magic. No wonder the ancestors brought me to this tower, the home of creatures born with magic in their blood. Magic is all around me, making the little hairs on the back of my neck stand on end. Even after all these years apart from my culture, 
I'm still a barbarian deep inside. I distrust magic and anyone who uses it. Give me a sword, any weapon, and let me face my enemy in combat. Speak, uh, spoken like a true Klingon. <laughs> Lord Tannum, Barsolar, my assistant, addressed me. I would suggest we get rid of those pesky air and elementals and take that gold mine. You do know how expensive those enchanters are, don't you? I have to sit on my hand to keep from punching the little man's nose in. <laughs> uh, that's pretty neat. And we cannot pass. No, oh, that means I'm going back there. I'm kind of just in time, too. Oh, come on. We don't have enough or... Well, at least I will get Sculptor's Wings. Well... I guess this will be a good stopping point then. Uh, it's also quite strange. I mean, uh, I also have um, Here's Might Magic 3 in the Wake of Gods installed here. And uh, it doesn't crash at all. Not like this as well. If it crashes, then it's usually because of ERM errors or something like that. Uh, it could be because of music, actually. I have noticed that music often makes Here's My Magic 3 crash for some strange reason. But I don't know. So anyway, I will see you all next time.